Um, the challenge nowadays, I think, in particular, uh, as if, if you really kind of deconstruct the educational system and how we're teaching young people, you know, uh, there's so much pressure being put on young people to be perfect at such an earlier age that there's a, a, a paralysis of failure that's kind of embodied within those younger generations. And, you know, I see it all the time. I, I constantly am being contacted by, you know, parents who they think their kids are have potential elite level potential and they're like hey can you evaluate them can you see where their mindset's at and you know I'll, I'll go spend five seconds with the kid and i'm like first and foremost the kid is petrified of failure so uh you're you're never gonna you're never gonna get there if you're afraid to fail and i think great leaders have that um that consistency in there that their their willingness to take risk uh by inspiring the junior people on the totem pole to take greater risks to get out there, you know, and I'm not talking shoot from the hip, Annie Oakley risk. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, you know, strategic risk and whether it's client acquisition or, you know, maybe it's a rebranding or, you know, whatever those components may be. But, man, that's another huge role in, in great leaders is to say, and, and you know, and, and, and this again goes back to what I had alluded to before, what I'm witnessing is, you know, you have people that have these models that they've worked incessantly on for 20, 30, 40 years, and they're afraid to hand it over to these young people because they, they don't think or act or they don't learn the same way or they don't have the same uh, mission orientator or, or same process. And you're like, I'm not going to give them the reins because I don't want them to destroy what I've, I've built mm -hmm. my whole life. But the problem is, is you're on your way out anyways, and you want to turn it over to, you want to see, but you're not putting in the work to teach them how to fail. You know, so it's this, it's this cycle of, of, of fear that is kind of a, uh, uh, overwhelming, I think people and in, in particular leaders. Okay. So let's build on that. Um, because something I've been talking to a lot of our clients about recently is, is deliberately shaping an environment of self-actualization yeah man but but through leadership not just telling people but showing them based on how you conduct yourself and and the environment you create like what you were talking about the junior team member that empowerment and that sense of responsibility probably accelerates their maturity substantially so it's not a micromanagement environment. Um, it doesn't create learned helplessness. Uh, it would be powerful. So I want to get to this question here because now let's get into the tactical in a typical day in your life when you're talking to these people in mm -hmm. California or Houston. As, as we do turn the corner, <clears throat> one of the goals is to try to kickstart the team and get everybody bought in not just into an optimistic outlook about life, but also the concept of an elevated approach as a, as a team. Like, how can we find that other gear? Have you gotten into some tactics, especially with teams, to help kickstart that? A absolutely. I think, you know, first and foremost, you always have to have uh, uh, your the intelligence that you're utilizing for um goal orientation or strategy or mission mission profiling you know it's got to be it's got to be actionable right it's got to be real world it's got to be timely you got to know what the battlefield is, is showing you and in this case you know you mentioned self-actualization and in, in kind of the core of, of humanistic psychology you know what is what is the battlefield the battlefield has been has been you know has been pretty hammered over the last two years uh, you know, we had this discussion before. You, you think about the magnitude of fear that people have con been forced to consume, and then also what they've allowed themselves to consume. You know, has has in many many cases uh, uh, promoted a certain psychosis that uh, is very counterintuitive to this another gear level that you're speaking of. And so, I think first and foremost. Uh, what I'm trying to do uh, with people right now uh, in these teams, whether it's a small RIA I work with, or it's a you know a big wire house, or it's a you know a complex that I'm talking to multiple teams at, whatever, you know the biggest thing is I'm trying to do is is get people to reset their perspective. 